on, Sam! Turn it on, Sam, baby! Come on, Sam! Beautiful, Sam, beautiful. So the uh, Delaware Mile Challenge was something Sam Parsons and I were talking about for a long time, uh, and especially after he went under four minutes for the first time. And we were at the same time he did that, we were uh, doing a track renovation campaign here to upgrade this current facility. And there was a lot of drainage problems here, a lot of issues with the facility. It was 40 years old and we were able to raise enough money to get this renovated completely. And the Delaware Mile Challenge is a celebration of, of that effort. And at the same time, see if we can take Delaware off the list of the remaining six states that have not broken the four minute mile. Mm. So uh, we counted on Sam for a lot of his insight into the professional world as to how to align this with the calendar. And he came up with the date and um, you know, we kind of are celebrating Sam as well because bringing him back home. So we were so pumped for him to be here. <laughs> Fanboy number one, yeah. to Sam, believe, Kerry Goucher. And did you, did you believe? I'm still believing. Yeah. It's just in the broom closet now. <laughs> just pushed aside to the back of the broom closet. I guess the, the Justin Bieber flow really uh, was in at the time. Isn't that, that's so funny. Here we go. I can't believe my parents kept this. Graham Crawford, Reebok. Parsoni, pain caving, hard right there. Sam as a kid, oh boy. I think what comes first to my mind? He was very cuddly, very, very warm hearted. I think a happy kid, somebody enjoying life for sure. You never had to worry about pushing him or, you know, he wanted to do well at, at, at swimming. He wanted to go across that pool fast. <laughs> Samuel was hooked to it and glued to these guys who put like these big dreams, even like as a four or five year old into his head that he wanted to be the best. He wanted to prove to them, even as tiny as he was, that he could be, could be really tough and, and hardworking. Our AAA has your attention to Sam Parsons, this guy, since he's been swimming here, this is the guy, you know, that's up there. He, he started the flexing the muscles thing. He's always asking me, you know, can we work on this? Can we do this? You know, can we work on my pressure kick? Can we work on my pressure pull out? I mean, nonetheless, Sam, you, you are our AAA tender boy, buddy. The trendsetter was, was Molly. He had one statement when she decided to go to Tatnall. As soon as Molly did that, there came a statement from Sam, oh, so I guess I know where I'm gonna go. Then he watched Molly being coached by Coach Castaño and making such stride that he was like, yeah, I want that. Obviously, boys develop later. Samuel was tiny, he didn't look like a high schooler um, when he started high school, but he went through the program and really flourished. He's not a coach kind of by the numbers. He obviously knows all that stuff, you know, the tempo runs and law, you know, and, but he's much more interested in the individual. He's just the kind of coach that believed in those dreamers. But he really, really also butted heads with the coach all the time. He always had different ideas. And I think Castanio will agree that there were times he was pulling his hair out about about Sam because it wasn't an always easy, easy thing. Sam was a, a busy body, always moving around. He was always talking during team meetings. He was, he, was, he was funny, he was happy, and he was excited about the sport. And when he saw other people a little bit older than him achieving some really cool stuff, Sam decided that he wanted to be in that crowd. He always, always, always has run from the heart. So now it's so cool to watch that work at the next level and the next level above that. What's the plan today, Mr. Parsons? It's about noon already. We wasted half the day. 
watching like old home videos, archive stuff. And then uh, we're going over to Doug Adams right now. He's our P team PT um, for a little treatment. And then probably gonna sh do a shakeout run. Um, beforehand, I wanna still get, I wanna like, keep my mileage as high as possible this week. So do a shakeout run beforehand, see Doug, get a little treatment, and then go to the high school. The old alma mater, Tattnall, tonight. Get my pre-meet in, go see coach. Maybe go say hi to the team before tomorrow and get them hyped up. And then Parsoni, Mama Parsoni dinner. And then all the way up. You might have picked that up on audio. I think so, yeah. gosh. <laughs> Your sleep is likely gonna be affected. Yeah. So, I want you to just realize that that you need to do a little extra recovery and get yeah. a little extra sleep because yeah. you might not be getting the same quality. Right. A quest. A quest. <laughs> a quest to break four minutes. Oh, we're on the quest today. <laughs> Oh boy, look who it is. Oh, right there. Parsons, I see it. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So good to see you. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. This is an event of, uh, of, of the state recognition in, in history because hopefully the four, four minute mile drops tomorrow night and, uh, it, and Sam is uh, the guy that does it. But if not, we'll be, be happy to celebrate the race because mm -hmm. there's a lot of great people in it, and uh, and all the people that help make this you know make this event happen. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're proud of it. We hope it comes off the way we expect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time I ran 800 right here. 800 at states. <laughs> Do you feel any pressure, or if it is it um, is it a scary pressure or just like a pressure that you're excited for? There's definitely like the expectation, you know, like with all like even just the kids just now, yeah. you know, saying that stuff like, oh, you're gonna be the one, are you are you gonna be the one yeah. to do it? Like you gotta be, you know, and stuff, and like that's definitely like the perfect storybook would be that, you yeah. know, for sure. And I definitely want to uphold that, but I definitely don't feel pressure, like. I, it's definitely just like a full circle, just gratitude and just so stoked to be racing and mm. like being in a place where I'm healthy and able to like come back here and give it my all. And I know that I'll be cheering for me and everything and I know that, that like that'll carry me throughout the whole race so I'm not even worried about the race itself. It's more so just about just running smart and just giving it my all in order to win. Boys State Cross Country MVP goes to somebody who was the county champion, the state champion, and was not satisfied until he had accomplished everything he set out to do this year. It is Sam Parsons. Sam, you're so um, there are several people um, I owe so much to, and I'm sorry if I miss anyone. To my mom and dad, um, I realize now how much um, none of this would have been possible without you guys. Um, with your constant love and support, honestly, from my freshman year at my first Glasgow dual meet spring track to my senior year cross country championships, I've never seen a miss a race. And um, without your love and support, uh, I wouldn't have ever done that. Thank you guys so much. Lastly, how could I forget um, Coach Patrick Castano. Um, I've learned so much from you. Um, and you molded me into the person I am today. Castanio wrote me a letter my freshman year um, after I decided to come to Tattnall, and I would like to quickly share that with you. Dear Sam, I want to officially congratulate you on your acceptance to Tattnall and for choosing Tattnall as a place where you will spend your high school days. You will not regret it. This is all for the race? No way. Holy crap. That's like, you're surprised? <laughs> That all the parking lots are full and they're, uh, the excess parking for like homecoming is parking up there? Holy crap! High school is a time where you will learn so many things that you will mold your life and your character. You will succeed and you will fail from time to time. 
but you will never forget the friends and the times you have made. As an athlete, you will become strong and you will be faced with some nerve-wracking situations. You will also lead to the building of your character. I wish you the best of luck and look forward to working with you and help you develop your time for running. And um, we finished with Dream Big Sam. And man, that um, I've lived by that um, letter all, all, all my 40 years. And um, thank you so much, Coach Steiner, for teaching me how to dream. Delaware Mile Challenge represents a long anticipated celebration of our generous donors, our dedicated cross country and track families, and the vision and leadership of Coach Castaño. To name a few of the mind boggling numbers, Coach's track and field, indoor track, and, co and cross country programs at Tattnall have produced 214 individual and relay state champions, 34 All Americans. 15 Gatorade Runners of the Year, and more than 50 scholarship college athletes, as well as runners at the professional level like our own Sam Parsons who will race here tonight. Coaches' teams have won 50, that's 5-0, state championships, which is the most for any coach in any sport in Delaware history. I'm very proud to announce on behalf of the Board of Trustees, our leadership donors, and the Tattnall administration community, we are hereby dedicating and naming this new state-of-the-art facility in honor of Coach Patrick Castagno. And rounding out our field, you know what you want him. Oh, yeah, yeah. 355 by the In this sport, we get so caught up in just like the script that's given to us. We get so caught up in just go run this race in California with perfect conditions in order to run at the national championships, in order to run the world championships. And the script is already laid out for you. And very rarely in this sport, you get the power to say, what do I actually want to do? And what actually will bring me happiness in this sport? And that's what the Delaware Mile Challenge was. It exceeded all expectations I could have ever dreamed of with how many people showed up, how many people that were with me during those formative years of my career that were there that I hadn't seen in almost a decade. And just for all those young kids that I know how much an event like that would have meant to me when I was that kid in high school, to be like, wow, like, you can run that fast in a mile, or like you can you can run professionally in this sport. And to be able to break that script for me personally, because I feel like I've just been stuck in this cycle over and over and over again of just like, all right, get fit enough so you can run this exact time that someone else gave to you to run this time at this race, because that's where the best competition is going to be, just to do some other race. And is that actually what I want to do? I like, pr like probably not. Like if I'm being honest and. I've ran in two world championships now and they've been both amazing experiences, but I know it might sound ridiculous to people watching, but like that race this weekend probably brought me more fulfillment than any world championships and maybe even an Olympics could have ever brought me. 
Running, running is such a beautiful sport for so many reasons. It pushes you to your limits, physically, mentally, emotionally. It puts you down on your knees sometimes, and it gives you moments like tonight. But the reason this sport truly is beautiful is because it brings people together. And look at all the people that were brought together tonight under one roof. And I just wanted to thank the Kirchers, the Zaros, the Pierces, all the people, Doug Adams, my PT, Rudy Rudowski, my PT, who I worked with for over 10 years throughout time, growing up through this sport, it kept me going. And most of all, Patrick Castaño. Yeah. It's one of those moments that you can like leave this sport. Like if my running career ended right now, which who knows after this year, like my like my Adidas contract is up after this year and this could be it, you know? Like if I can't financially continue to move forward in this sport, then I know I always have that race. You know, I always have that moment um, that I can look back on and be like, that was really cool. And I like did something that was bigger than just me. It was bigger than just running sub four minutes, but it was like for all the people that um, believed in me and gave me a chance at just doing all this. So, yeah. It might just look like a mile on paper, but um, to me it meant, yeah, it meant everything. So thank you to everyone that made that race and that weekend and made it all possible. Is there anything you want to say to your viewers out there? Uh, join the revolution. That was sick, I just did a front flip. Did you see that? I saw it, man. That was, that was intense.